Roads and train lines had to be closed and helicopters were sent to some areas to rescue those who'd scrambled onto their roofs to escape the rising waters. And check this, water flooding a metro train in Madrid from where Guy Hedgeco has the very latest. This weather event was a dramatic and deadly end to the Spanish summer, striking just as many people were returning to work after the holidays. The central province of Toledo was one of the worst hit areas. A man died after being trapped in a lift there, apparently because of the flooding. Another man was already dead when rescue services reached him near his car. Just west of Madrid, one man is still missing after his car was swept away, although his 10-year-old son was rescued after clinging to a tree for eight hours. Just over a week ago, many parts of the country were seeing temperatures of up to 40 Celsius. Spain often sees heavy rain at the end of the summer, but this weather event, caused by a mass of low pressure, has been much more extreme than normal. In and around Madrid, where rivers burst their banks, flooding has damaged homes and left many residents struggling to keep the water out. 200 people were evacuated. The water came into the house as if it was a wave. It went upstairs and we panicked a bit. We tried to solve the problem as best we could. We put the dog on the roof. The flooding caused severe travel disruption, with an estimated 60,000 rail passengers affected. The high-speed rail link between Madrid and the southern Andalusia region has now resumed, but other services have been disrupted throughout the day. The extreme weather has now eased off. Guy Hedgeco, BBC News, Madrid.